Hey YouTube, it's Eric here. How's things going? Everything's great here. Um, if you notice, I'm in, in kind of an office again. Um, but it's not the blazer. The blazer's gone. So, I did mention a while ago that I'll be uh, getting something different. And I picked it up uh, last night. But it uh, was too dark for me to uh, to do a video on it. So, well, I'll uh, get you guys out here and oh, show you kind of what I'm in. First of all, as you see, i got lots of room. Yes, it's a pickup truck. I got a truck. That's sweet. So, let's hop out and have a quick look. I'm very happy about this, so I'll flip you around and show you. There she is, folks. My new ride. Well, new to me. It's not brand new. It's an 06. It's a F-150. As you see, it's all blacked out. No, uh, no emblem. <laughs> I got an idea for that. The rims are blacked out. Like I said, I just picked this up last night. Uh, it's a very nice truck. Uh, yes, it does have one one chrome rim. The other three are black. There's the other one. Uh, these rims are plasti dipped. So I got to get this one done because. This rim was replaced. Um, it is a four door. I know it's just a little cab, but it is a four door. Um, I mean, everybody's seen videos on on F one fifties. I've been waiting a long time to get a truck. And it's got the step bars, and of course, I've got my antenna on it already. One of them. It's an FX four. Spare tire, Ford box liner, all dark tinted windows. Um, it's got a aftermarket headlights in it. It's got the halos and the LEDs. It's pretty cool. And it's got the blacked out grill. And as you see, there's no emblem, but I have something I'm going to put on there, and you'll see it when it's uh, when it's on there when it gets warmer. Obviously, I can't do it right now. It's got the nice big tow hooks in the front. It's a tool. It's got the trailer package with the already built-in plug. As you see, leather interior, black leather interior. This door does open. So there's one on the other side. That's good. <laughs> it's got green interior lights, which I thought was really cool. Um, and I've got it set up for my scanner already. Oh, power seats. Oh, let me climb back in again. Oh, I'm falling because it's slippery over here. Right now it's uh, minus 10 degrees. So I'm just uh, trying to find a spot now for my camera. It's not uh, crooked for you guys. Um, yeah. So I picked this up last night at, uh, well, not even last night, I picked it up at 5.30, 5.30 I guess it was. Um, I would have had it sooner, but unfortunately, uh, when the dealership went to, uh, to put the plates and stuff on it, they found out that the, uh, the e-test that was on it expired the day before. So... I had to wait a little bit for it to get e-tested and whatnot, which is okay. I mean, it's, just, it's an e-test. Get it done. So now I'm good for two years. Um, I uh, well, obviously I took out a, a thing to pay for this truck. What do they call them? I really like it. It's only it's it's got uh, it's got 178,000 kilometers on it. Uh, my Blazer had almost 400,000, so. It was time for it to go. Um, 
after the fuel pump issue and all the other stuff that I put into that blazer, yeah, it was time for it to go. Um, I'm not going to do too much for lights on this one right now. I mean, I did, I did, um, uh, with the, uh, the loan company and everything, I did mention about the lights and they assured me I could put whatever I want on the truck. It's my truck. So, um, but I'm just a little leery, you know, get it on there. And if I happen to, you know, I don't know how it works, but if I miss a payment or something, what are they going to come take my truck? And then I lose all my lights and everything too. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so I, I'll probably put some lights on it. Um, I know I'm going to, uh, I know I'm going to, um, get a back rack for it because I won't, I want a back rack for it. And that helps protect the back window for one, for two. I can mount my, I can mount my lights on that and I don't have to worry about, uh, I don't have to worry about it, right? Uh, you know. Just unplug everything and take the back rack off. Done. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see what the future brings. Um, you know, the radio works good. Runs good. Beautiful. Um, uh, it's four-wheel drive. So, last night driving at home, we were, we were getting, uh, getting snow. And the sanders and that hadn't been out yet. And, uh, I drove all the way home in two-wheel. Uh, it was slippery in a few spots, you know. You got to remember, I'm used to my little blazer going from a, a, a little six cylinder to a six cylinder to a V8. That's uh you know, she's got a little a little bit more horsepower, so she kicks the ass end out a little better. But uh, yeah, I really like it. I'm really happy. Um, I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick view of my new office because. <laughs> As you know from before, this is where I did a lot of my vlog videos. Was in the Blazer, sitting in the in the driver's seat, just doing a little vlog. Um, fortunately, today I'm not staying out here too long because, like I said, it's minus ten out right now and it's cold. And I have a few few things to do today, so I gotta get my get my button gear. Um, as always, I thank thank you for watching my channel. Um, now that I have some reliable wheels. Um, that are covered under warranty. <laughs> That's why I went through a dealership. Uh, it's covered under warranty, so I don't have to worry about if you know something breaks down. I just you know I go. So um, so that's yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I was just looking and I heard some noise and my garbage cans must be blowing up on the road. I guess I'm gonna have to go get them too. So. Again, I thank you for watching my channel. There'll be more to come. Um, I know sometime in the spring, I do believe I gotta I gotta put a light bar on uh, my buddy Chris's uh, um, Durango. So we'll have to do that. And uh, I'm just gonna wait till it gets a little warmer. And my buddy Jeff, I gotta finish his directional bar and um, some other lights I'm doing for him for his van. And then I'm uh, when it gets warmer, I'll be doing an install in that one as well. Um, unfortunately, it's it's hard for me to record when I'm doing the install because just you know, where do I put the camera? And then you know, I got to keep moving the camera, and I'm trying to concentrating uh, concentrating on running my wiring and everything, and make sure it's not rubbing and all that stuff. So that takes up my concentration. Plus, when I'm hooking switches and stuff, you know. Um, but I always, as you know, I always show you the the uh, afterwards job, so I'll continue to do so. And, uh, we'll go from there. But, uh, if you have any, any suggestions of things you want to see or whatever, let me know. Um, I, I, uh, I, I appreciate, uh, you know, your comments. It's, you know, that's how we build YouTube. You know, we're comments, how we, how... Oh, YouTubers build their channels, right? We you know we take your your opinion, and we work with it, and hopefully give you you know the best uh, the best quality videos uh, we think you deserve. So, so anyway, until then, leave a comment below if you like. Um, pretty soon, I will be uh, putting my mailing address down at the bottom uh, somewhere. 
And uh, if you want to send me a letter, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, you know, leave it, leave there. Send me a letter, then I'll uh, read it on uh, a video. If you know, if you want me to read it on a video, uh, you know, just let me know in the letter. I'll read it ahead ahead of time, so I don't whatever. You know, don't put it on if you don't want it on. But if you want it on, I'll put it on for you. I'll read it, read it right there on the uh, on a video for you. So. Anyway, again, I appreciate you guys watching my video a lot. You know, um, before before I started doing these videos, I was a really, really shy person, and I never really, you know, watched any or uh, would do anything like this. And then um, I started watching people on YouTube, and then, you know, I started watching Bill's Team Max, and, uh, you know, another good Canadian boy. Um, I don't live too far from Bill, uh, but um, I think about two hours away, something like that, maybe a little less, not quite sure. Um, Iron Man as well, he's, uh, he's a Canadian boy. Um, just watching them and seeing, you know, why not? Just try it. So, you know, and, and that's my thing to you guys. You know, you may be afraid to try it, but you know what? Do it just give it a try you know you never know you know I'm sure that all these these other youtubers you know um, for instance PewDiePie and and Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and, and guys like that they started out just like me started out with you know very little subscribers you know and they just kept putting content and then people started watching them and then there you go so I think it's uh it's a good way to get yourself out there, you know, especially if you're a shy person, you know, because you're not actually in front of people. I know uh, that's some of it. Sometimes it's if you're in front of people, that's when it's hard. That's when your shyness comes up. But, I mean, you're talking to a camera, so it's not so bad. It's just you by yourself or whatever talking to a camera. And uh, I think it makes it a little easier. Uh, I could be wrong, but, you know, I think it, it does. Um yeah so anyway that was my uh my little showing of my my new truck uh again i'm very happy but uh like i said i got a few things to do i gotta go actually get a sticker for it now because it's got a temporary on it because of the e-test stuff and um, the e-test is done and it passed no problem not even a issue so i gotta get a few things done so i appreciate you watching um please comment um, subscribe, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if that thing's still there, I don't I have no clue um, anyway, you guys take care of yourselves and there'll be more videos coming up in the future ciao for now guys